know you can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm-hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. Need to build up my calluses. Get a quill, quill, quill. Get a quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's Weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> Arrested? For what? Huh. Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? Pfft. Details! <laughs> Nice Gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah! 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 Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh... <laughs> You know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> What did the tree say? No idea. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She is waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh. Then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? 
Novacore security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. There. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quill Soda. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Ugh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. The ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. For one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship eater, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? I am Groot. What, pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Take that brittle stuff. <laughs> He is not a better shot than me. Heads up! Dangerous and unstable. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Did not mean to do that. Smooth as always, Quill. I'm not encouraging him. Show off. Just making sure my guns work. I heard Novacore once wanted to cover entire planets in Novanet, just like this place. I am Groot. Hostile ones, I guess. I am Groot. Yeah, I wouldn't want the world mind picking and choosing. Most of my favorite planets would probably become jails. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. 
Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nanoresin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacor frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're- Whoa! I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? <sighs> Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Oh, uh, you happy, Quill? You found the thing I told you was there, but you didn't listen. That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> I am Groot. Of course he could know. I told him. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep, classic me. I am Groot. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova Corps. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Quill! I'm okay! Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No! Aww. You were worried. That's cute. Right. Uh, I... oh, uh. Watch it, Quill! Uh. Oh. <laughs> All good, no worries. Someone's been practicing. Ugh, I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Looks like... <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the... Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working. For ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I am Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. Shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. 
I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. She had an honest face. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything has checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the stack, too. Come on! What are you waiting for? Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a schmag! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Let's go. Why the enthusiasm? Cause our bet's still on, and I'm gonna kick your butt. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there? You let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Ah, uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. 
Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Huh. Worth a shot. Found something with a charge. Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay. This thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short circuit! in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I am Groot. I am Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're... Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a pre-century robot, but it would have been space work. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh, I got a sneak peek at all of the new killbots. Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. I wasn't even a person for the worst of the freeze mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility is a problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax? The Tathians have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. <laughs> now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that? Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Gamora, 
When are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Rocket stores! Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! Imagine something this big coming at you. A whole ship was like a bug by comparison. So it would swat them out of the air like flies. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started! Yeah, tell them that! Gotta love that kill radius! Blew them up! Do we really need to test these things? Darn it! I thought we were safe! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with jump starts? Don't talk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Let loose, Rocket! <laughs> oh yeah! It is like that time! How are there this many of them? About to be one less! Popped another one! Blitz of rocket! I never did like balloons! At least they make a good splash! That's the spirit! I'm loving this! I knew I was missing all the fun last time! Don't forget about that! The rocket. Do we really need to test these things? Yes! We're not Splatter rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Looks like we're done installing our. Thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. It's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! No! No! no. Okay! 
flarkin' piece of moldy driftwood, you could have died saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a drug. Come on, Coral. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? You're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Hey, Rocket, is everything okay? Dark. His radio must have broke when he fell. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. <sighs> Sounds like Green Team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Fruit's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it. You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't. Because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thunder points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scan another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Floor! It's stuck on something! Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. It wasn't me this time, I swear! <laughs> One for me! That point don't count if we're dead! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Oh crap! Ah! 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 Oh! Larkin, son of a! I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys- Good to see you two. You're gonna wanna cross the ship as fast as you can. so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt a panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this going to take? Oh, come on. Lark and tensor joint. Just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of...
Well, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. I don't know. Thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. So, Groot, you run into any trouble getting into the rig? Good. I, I was pretty worried about you. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Old beauty? I am Groot. A table! This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear? Hey, hand me that part. What do you mean, what kind of mining ship? A mining mining ship. Cut rock, extract resources. Do you see any rock? Or mining equipment for that matter? Well... No. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. One tick. Done. Can't craft that, Quill. I am Groot. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. All right. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. I'll cover your back. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Ugh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys, I'm not alone down here! I've ever seen! <laughs> These things are just dying to be punched! I feel the same way about you sometimes. Now 
was like something out of a horror movie! Stay down! Man, Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket! Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Hello? Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind! near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if you can get back up there. That crate is being held up by this crane. We could free it, were it not out of reach. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can half that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! You can put it down here. I am on my way. Yeah. Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos, or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. It'll look real good right here. Shall be done. <laughs> remember this moment, should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slow all right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, flock. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. 
snarling and nasty, more teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips, probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. You know, I've seen these big mining ships before, but I don't remember ever seeing a Tathian starfighter in the war. Thanos ordered his invaders to raise most of our fleets and demolish our factories before we could respond. Surely you knew that. Actually, uh, I didn't. I had nothing to do with what happened to your people. But you were familiar with this tactic. Well, you got some time We got company! Say, it's fucking scary out there, Quill. Fork darts on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill! Ah! Great! Sometimes he ain't half bad. Caution! Rocket! Nuke them! Want some? Get some! Take the whole clip! Bye bye, you guys! This sure beats therapy! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the front of the battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. It's almost insulting. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh! Our monster has arrived! I see it! Good. Oh crap, the door, we... 
works. Let's catch our monster. Hey, that beast! Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. I see what I'm seeing. Yes, now that is a monster. All right, enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! No place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins! Trash, go! From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, 
Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hope. Uh, did you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Krell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed. Leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be her boarding party. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it. 
It's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Hey, watch the jacket. Get that gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. <gasps> a single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Just to be super clear on the mom You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? <sighs> this is a weird... No. Doing great. Okay. That was kind of easy, huh? <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> Thanks. Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one! Go! Go! Okay. We need to keep moving. This way. Dead Nikki? Whoa. Just stay close. I knew close. there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh man, this is bad. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. 
Come on. You no, know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate. Fuck you. Come on. If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A scene Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another- Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax! You're fine! Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. Nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Did you hear me? Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Easy does it. You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. <laughs> Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. <laughs> They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Okay, wow! That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controller. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. This way. Any day now. I'm still in charge here, you know. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could've fooled me. This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time.
Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? 
Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not- It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now, I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Yeah, he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Um, okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. 
Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? In Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I. Don't. Got. No. Units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot? You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an Earth 
thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh... Its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and... Now there's no Foom to, you know... send you there. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but... Hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that 
we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. Wh what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I i thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space Dad? Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around.
Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. <sighs> Next time, I'm flying.
Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Daz? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? About my raise. Oh, you're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> They say that Seknarf-9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. It's an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? In fact, you ain't sure. Don't vote so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Team hiking trip! That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Let's face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to- <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good voice! I thought 
you should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rudy. Eh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some of the. It's not alone. Get ready. Here looks like we are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? When all else fails, shoot stuff. There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way up. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb for the bloody terrain. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. I think it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. for trouble, assassin. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quilt? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. 
Yay. Okay, so note to self. No, we're trying to stay ready. I took care of it. Come on, Scott. I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Hey, where are you? <laughs> nice hidden passage. Everything okay in there? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. You think Drax and Gamora have killed each other by now? The real question is who'd come out on top. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Enough. <laughs> There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we have wanted. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me 
down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking dogs! How will we cross? Scum, don't face Look the around, box. we'll find another way. My problem is to meet and try and huck. Not a chance. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. And there should be no problem. Um, what's Guitar Jack doing on a backwater mud ball? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? <laughs> Taller than Groot. Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet! Right. <sighs> Think these statues are of monsters on this planet? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. That obelisk looks promising. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Right. Try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! You're up because... This one is primed for punishment! This won't hurt! Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units as it ain't. I am... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. 
I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector Nine. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. The more I'm mind cutting us a path. They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Called Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else could cross the death pit first. Being root of the merchandise. Don't just go. No, you just someone go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. We'll scale this down to track. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. This looks good. Will do. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off her backs. See anything useful up there? Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. OK, 
Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. It's the middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill! Stack out the upper wing strut! Looks pretty compromised to me! I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. No giant monster. All good. Need your muscles again, Drax. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Next, Peter Quill. Helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear we would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's Fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure! Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Thanks, Drax! Looks like there's a way down here! Whoa! You gotta see this ship! Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath! Even the Chitauri feared her! They didn't fear many back then! Huh. Okay, here we go! <sighs> oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. <sighs> oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark. Quill. Oh, 
happened? I don't know. My blasts, they... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just, come on, dude. Just... Please, the let guns me, alone! Let me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA coding from the box code some kind of morphing nano. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planet. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out, trust me. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Atari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these buck bombers. But, oh, what reeks in here? That, oh, Scott, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. You know what? Mark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in- Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh man, another murder tentacle. Careful, it might be playing. That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Uh, yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go on. I think I can see my house from here. Doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh 
You need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You are dead! Dead! No! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Must be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a Beasley Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink ball? Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, I'll take that time for throw up. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leader. Tunnel part. 
Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ha, ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas blast. Knowing we're gonna have it with the monster queen, how much are we asking for? What do you mean, don't take the read? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Gamora, snip, snip. Cutting right up! So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. He stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we've... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you weak? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we're in business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Is 
anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of Lark, stop counting clicks. I could enumerate my whole age in the chart. Why do you leave? Where are you going to hear me? Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. She says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, is slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. I think you got them all, and I got a healthy dose of your spit. <laughs> what did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. 
You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I trust her with your life, too. Just not with Bruce. Okay, mean. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding him. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm a talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, 
I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. If worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No, I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find him once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with group. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my dreams, Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Hmm. 
Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarv 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not nearly. that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. 
Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with knowing the wise guy. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare and scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Ah, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Catathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. Or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Mulberry. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay, Tracker says. Ah, come on, you skeggy. I knew that thing was junk. We saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Are we certain there is in fact an elevator? Of course we're sure. We saw Groot leave on it. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? There's an access panel or something back here. Perfect. Maybe I could just hotwire the dash thing. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, whoops! Must be Sugnarf soothing sounds, Volume 2. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Switch this! Done. This one. It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's gotta be a second node. Okay. Oh, here! Yep. Okay. Uh We've got company! was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. And what the flark was that? Uh, just a little slip, no big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah, you probably just lowered a height a bit or something. There, keep it like 
like that, I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude one down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the... Peace of Scott! Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You be sure as Scott. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. Rodin has tiny padded feet. all getting out of here in one piece. Peter Quill, you certainly it's not best that we simply cut their throats while they sleep. Very sporting of you, Drax, and yes, I'm sure. Easy does it. We are not the ones wearing jet boots. This place and no railings. It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. We should let all these things loose. It doesn't seem so bad. They're like pets. Like pets? Oh, what the heck is that? It's my spirit animal. Strong, yet beautiful. Looks like a rhino slept with a jellyfish. Definitely not a fan of whatever this is. This creature is grotesque. Yuck! Just yuck! Oh, what is that smell? It's the mulcha. The what? The dry grass. Or at least it's supposed to be dry. Yeah, maybe don't leave it out when you've got a hole in your ceiling. Whoa, it's like a snob monster covered in pimples. Sounds like a teenager. Nope. Nope, don't do spider snakes or weird tentacle things. Don't you sleep with a weird tentacle thing? Jillian was not weird. It's okay. We're here, bud. Hey! 
some of these creatures. You're gonna help me get him out or what? Group! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but I twinkled the toes. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Will. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on the stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has... I don't know. Traumatized him. Exactly. Is that it, big guy? Are you hurt? Come on, big guy. Don't just clam up. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Tartar. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! Enough toying! 
We, we did it! They live! Uh, bring me Nasha! Everybody grab a bike! An awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sunk aboard, and there was a dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were a little bad. I knew the Breaker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. I just have to... It's just an array. <laughs> just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax, it was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right, we made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. My 
Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else. <sighs> this must be the assassin. What did I do again? The refrigerator door was left open. Yeah, Gamora. Or was it the abomination? Yeah, Rocket. I'm Groot. Whoa, nice! You made a cute little pen. <laughs> Yeah, it better stay out of my fur! <sighs> you didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? <laughs> Looks sturdy enough. You sure it'll be okay in there? I am good. Ah, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. I am good. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know... Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. I think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it. It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years... Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Harm the llama creature if the tree had not removed it. You think? That thing's got it coming. 
Nice. Is that one from Seknarf 9? I bet it loves water. We could be halfway to nowhere by now, and only a few rotations away from getting that Flark and Nova Tracker off. Bitter much? Yeah, I am! Going to nowhere without paying our fine would bring more trouble in the long run. That's what Nova Corps wants you to think. You are right to be worried about the broken communications array, Rodent. A potential client might contact us and find our messaging system unavailable. Our inbox has been dry for cycles, Drax. Perhaps because some of us shirk our duty to distribute cards of business. I am good. Uh, penny for your thoughts? What is a penny? Uh, it's money. Like units. The saying means I pay to know what you're thinking. We must use our currency to pay the Nova Corps fine, or we risk... Drax. Just tell me what's up. I am realizing that I do not know as much as I thought I did. Our visit to Seknarf 9 was not what I expected. Because Lady Hellbender isn't a giant? She is definitely not. That is only part of it, Peter Quill. On our way to her fortress, I realize that many of my assumptions about this team have been incorrect as well. Really? The Assassin and the Rodent. Without them and the tree fighting nobly beside us, we would not be alive right now. I told you, they're not bad people just because they have a bad past. Life is... complicated, Drax. Things are never simple. On Katath, it was. I had a family that I cherished and a certainty about life that I no longer possess. I'm sure you'll find it again. Just give it some time. What's up, Muscles? Pissed about the array, too? Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So... Why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes. I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, no, no. Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think. I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Time's ticking away, Peter. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing. All right. 
right, let's pay that fine. So, what should we do with the leftover money after we pay off the cops? I say we get a landing assist program. There won't be much left, but we should use it to get intel on our next contract. We should use it to acquire food. Yeah, Drax wins. Yes. <clears throat> Anything but Yarrow Root. Hey. Want to take bets on if Quill's gonna get back with Cop Lady? No and Corral, that would be surprising. Hi. Groot, really? Quill's got lots going for him, like, um, the hair. You are being facetious. You've been quite vocal about your dislike for Peter Quill's hairstyle. I'm going on the record that I don't want to be here, and that being here is a mistake. Ready to pay our fine? Hi, Groot. Even Groot can see you're here for some blueberry pie. You ever been to the rock before? Yeah, looks like every other Novacore station. This reminds me of when I surrendered to the authorities. What was it like? Liberating. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. Too many seats, not enough butts. M shape. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R734 PL. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Novacore find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Flarkin knew I should have stayed on board. Coming, Rocket? Yeah, yeah. You know, it does seem kind of extra empty around here. Good. The fewer cops we gotta talk to, the better. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? I am Groot. We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can, Cheap shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. Any chance they're all just on break? I am Groot. Groot says the kiosk still says open. I say it ain't our problem. Ain't this the way? Never a space cop when you need one. Perhaps we simply need to wait our turn. Odd. What is? I mean... Besides all of this... There's nothing. Not even a welcome screen. It is on, right? They're always on. Constant connection to the world mind. That's the point. This one's been severed. Huh. 
I don't like this. We really do need to get that door open. Hey, I can crack it, but the panel's over there and we're stuck here. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. We are meant to be clearing our fine, not adding to it. Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Yeah, Nova's tech ain't that fancy. Don't expect me to hijack the world mind or anything, but I can handle some low-level security. Shut your mouth! We're supposed to be leaving. All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Think you can squeeze through this vent? If you can get it open, I ain't that flexible. There! One open air duct. Now we have damaged Novacore property. Just a little. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. But I gotta say, messing with some Novacore tech ain't a bad consolation prize. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm patching you through. You know the drill. Tell me which circuits to switch. We can only reroute power to so many things at once. On it! Prepare to be amazed. That's a door. The wrong door. Hey, hey! It's a bathroom! Anybody gotta go? The only place I wanna go is out of here. We'll find out. Oops! Oops, what? There you go, buddy. Free soda. I will not add theft to our list of charges. Clark and right I can. Hey, that sort of worked. The blast door is gonna need some extra goose. See if there's another power cover. Clark Peter! You said the connection was down. I thought it might help. <coughs> no, didn't help. Presto! What up? You know, ta-da! That is no more clear. It was conspicuously silent. Good point. Hey, no! We want to pay our fine and get your Katrakan tracker off my set! The more is right. Keep it down, Rocket. Something's off. Exactly why we should get to the Milano and go. As soon as we've paid our fine, we need to get rid of that Nova tracker. There's more than one way to shake oh. a tail, Quill. The rodent is most qualified to speak on tails. Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Hey, someone I'm there. half thing, remember? I did not. Damn, you hear that? Uh, hey there. You are Nova? What gave it away? Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in the cage. Nova Corps begs to differ. Well, no one is here. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Nova Corps prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. What are you in for? What? Nothing. Case of mistaken identity. They mistook me for someone who gave a crap. Ooh, I like him. Get back at you, Weasel. So how about helping a guy out? See if there's a door release or something. The last thing we need is to get caught freeing some criminal. We're already in enough hot water with Nova. Now this place brings back memories. Did you once serve with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill? What are you doing? I figured as long as we're here, I may as well try and dig up some juicy Nova secrets. Maybe they even got a bead on Gamora's bluer half. Not likely. What's that? Nothing. That big haunted house on Dervani was spooky. One has nothing to do with the other. I'm 
getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. And none of that screams run away to you? Ugh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. You wouldn't fit in one anyway. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the bugs tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one. Ah! No wonder the door is all torqued out. All right. Let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill? Marvel crafted. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. And voila! Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. This room is austerely presented. It must be a great honor to the Centurion. To say the least, each Nova Prime is selected from among the Centurions. More nothing! There's gotta be an explanation. The House Hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Vormirian pox. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Quill. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay, we try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got, uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with, uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Let's keep looking. Or we could focus on getting off this Fracactus space station. The door's flarked, remember? There's ways to unflark things, Gamora. Believe me. Bums don't count. What about that? 
Where do you think that goes? Down. Enough for me. Hey, what happened to one more room? You said the door's busted. I'm sure it's just a little further. You ain't sure as scut. I'm mostly sure. We found something, didn't we? So why the flark? Didn't you speak up? It was... weird. There was something funky about the voices of... There they are! Something's not right. Oh, Flark. Dishonor- Flark! I am Groot. <sighs> this is a mutiny. It was an execution. I ain't never seen cops kill each other. We've got to play this smart until we know what's going on. And which side survived? Everyone stick it low and follow me! There's something off about them! Look! They're flarking glowing! Seems a safe bet the go! I think our fine would be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Quill's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? 
a whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your, your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. Find the invaders. None must escape. How did the all-knowing world mind not foresee this event? They're just a computer, not God. For all we know... Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano the and... Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said, all sight. Come on, Rocket. You can't stay mad at me. Wanna bet? Not after the last one. How about you Something just don't piss me off any further? this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this, but it's a start. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? Hey, we can get through here. <laughs> You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. <laughs> Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He was a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no find. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Nice to see you listening for a change. You cannot see listening. Don't you start with me, muscles. You're still mostly in my good books. I am 
Who says I can't? This is his fault. In fact, so you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's got to get us out of here. Hurts the faithless. Clark and Scott cannot be so <laughs> easy. Feel this? We should have trusted the rodents' instincts. See? He gets it. I wasn't second-guessing, I'm just... Sure. These doors have been barricaded. Means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good at did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Gamora's right. At least I hope she is. They can't all be dead. They ain't. Most of them switched sides. I mean, some of them must have escaped. You were referring to your former lover, the child. I've got to believe Corral was on that ship. Yeah, well, believing don't make it so. What would make Nova turn on Nova? All right, hangar, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. I am Groot. No, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL, done. All right, bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central right. hangar. Focus None on the clamps, can escape Peter. her light. We'll try to keep them off you. One down! Time to shred them! Uh. Okay, 
shoot the clamps. I can do this. Take your time. Not busy or anything. Traps! Try to keep them on, Peter. It's good. I'm good. There's another one. All right. I'm hooked into the Milano system. Where's my tunes? I got your shoddy terror music. We've got more incoming. Prepare for pain! Group! Contact her! Whatever their deal is, these guys are no slouches! I do not see how their posture is relevant! to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. Order the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone. Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. I am Groot. Dudes, quit talking about fighting alone. We're a team. We fight better together. Because out on that field, it's all for one and one for all. And that's exactly how we win this time. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Can't wait to take him down! This glow is oddly beautiful. Still wish we knew what it was. Promise me you'll stay down, soldier. My great strength goes underutilized. We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! 
What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all... Very disturbing. If Quill really cared about this team, he wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. I am Groot. I am not! We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Let's talk about it. Leave us alone. The Nova Tracker on Peter's chair isn't looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. Nowhere. The last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. 
The marketplace came after, along with news. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? Well, did you end up talking to Rocket after he stormed out of the rec room? Don't think he was in a talking mood. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I suspect the rodent and his tree companion will be drinking somewhere. Where do you get the unit to support anything? How do we keep ending up here for work? What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens... Then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We've not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. The Cosmo deals with Novacore all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? It's straight through the market. Can't miss it. see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Anyway, Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. <laughs> Does. But it turns out we're both from Earth, so he gave me a second chance. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands on, if you know what I mean. They are fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. Strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. 
that and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. The Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You are his adopted daughter. Did you believe that? I didn't. Not for a long time. If Thanos was still alive, he'd have come after me by now. Nexus, <laughs> what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sun Lord, right? There's a rock star? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No, no, no. It's not. Oh, oh, you No, he's lying! I mean, oh. By the Kotati they wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green me. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep, end of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. Back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your ship together. You're more than just... I know that's blonde mop anywhere. Eat a queer. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. 
Last time I see you, you was running away from my dear. With your britches, off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here, but I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? What? What? No, no! Man, who could forget a face like that? <laughs> this is great. This is bad. This is really bad. Remember, <laughs> Ita, you and me. Starlight. Get out of here. What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! It's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song! The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. You did? Breakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, no, no! Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait! Of course, I, I remember! You, me, uh, the, the music... Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go! You, uh. You want to sing a song? Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this stone gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a train, ride, storm, the storm riders, storm riders, storm riders. Very nice. Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now we toss to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through, through the pouring rain. Pouring rain. Ride, Ride the song. Storm Storm Riders. Riders. Oh, come here. Oh! Uh... Come on. <clears throat> For Flark's sake. Let's go, Groot. Good time! Good time! Good time! You running the Ravagers now? I hear Yonder still in time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacor. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Huh? So, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, uh, well, listen, Peter. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Right, so. I got you. 
this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and take out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember... Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. <sighs> Great. Talk to Cosmo alone. Lucky traveler, have arrived at the Illustrious Great Emporium, collection. private collection of Tanalir Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, you, you like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh. I have this. Think I get him for free, right? Oh my! You must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Greatest collection of gifts in the galaxy. What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. 
Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Interesting. Hmm. That's not good. I don't get it. games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain. Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheats, no cons. No, sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up and up. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain. Not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, I better not. Not feeling very lucky right now. 
My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? Do you believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom when the, uh, Shatara came. She also died for no reason. They just shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, I believe that in order to reach Ul Taf, I must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. So that's why you come up here. Yes. Feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No, no. Not at all. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom. 
in heaven. It got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah, uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to quell fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Peter Quill. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sister. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in tower. He out there, Star Lord, in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure! Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. out there but I won't tell you what it is because I think being distant makes me mysterious Cosmo at you oh, I hate mazes especially stinking brain mazes okay dude deep breath deep breath It's you, Flark and Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack.
Cosmo! Cosmo! Here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, hey guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple! Uh, oh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Ron. Anybody think to bring refreshments? No, no, no. It's boot boy time. Would it help if I said I was sorry? That's how we make our unit. Get crushed, Terry. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice of 
you to show up, Gamora. It's the dis- Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy that you've never believed me, but... something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king of an entire world called Spartax, far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're gonna be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. 
Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm going to let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. failed your mission, miserably. Peter Quill, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. It's a legion. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster, not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Uh, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah. That's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm-mm. Friends will be breaking us out soon. Oh, real soon. Then you'll wish we did, Q. Be silent. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. I'm good. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! A little butter just scratched me. I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff doing one, too. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. I am, dude. Yes, you did. 
Now stop talking to him! Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? Rocket, dude, woof! We should have buffed you in when we buffed the chance. <laughs> like, buff we are. You don't, woof, woof, woof! What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You woof! <laughs> Sorceress, this! Where are we? You would have been still on the way. Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about. Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so Pesky Raccoon and Sentient Tree Friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sound. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. His old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin god. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. We want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not fun kind with ball. Ball. What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the World Mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. 
How are we gonna find the Hallows Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. So where are we going exactly? To original settlement. From early days, before Kiva could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restored. Uh. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best, best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia? Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Novorok. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo paint to agree with Assassin. Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I know you do. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Nah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for claws. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. Aw, oh, is the puppy mad that I outsmarted him? Cosmo's ancestor is Wolf, even human, like Piotr. So, what is this, like another elevator? Oh, no. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, what magnificent witchcraft is this? I know, it's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in bold. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I would. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. His time. Investigate Novish. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Cosmo do best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am Groot. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between uh, realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It was incredible. Oh. Avengers! Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will fight. No. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Clark Callow! breath! Okay, here we go! Whoa! Oh, Clark! You 
guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scutlord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. Might be just what we need. Found some kind of battery. Looks undamaged. Could be useful. Someone tell Scott Lord to hold on to it. Hold on to it, Peter Quill. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? I'm not seeing anything useful. Somebody tell him I ain't gonna do all his work for him. Use your visor, Peter! Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell him to turn them on. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine. I'll tell him. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Gravity was not restored. You had one job, Will. I did exactly what. I wonder what else Peter's guns can do. If he'd let me look at him, I could tell you. Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know if he found this one? What do you mean a code word? Fine. Brood won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. That'll do it. Dog report item. Something caused Novacore to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it, Groove? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? 
Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the Churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents and it spreads through the ship. Uh, should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. I wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off a of placemat? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Eh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert... Uh, de de-vert? Rocket. Eh, the console's safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. Safety locked. That's what I said. Wait, did you really just use your visor to check if I was lying? There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! Definitely something up here! Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. That did it. Get back down here. Now let's see what we can... Oh, Scott. Find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Lock! Orgy clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Lockers de-re-invert its core again! We'll just have to re de re invert it back! After we take some heads! Ooh. No, Gamora! I shall enjoy this! Those mines now! The electrifying enchanter spells irritate me! Make like a tree! Don't know which one we Nova 
space box or Nova Space Pump! This is Nova Corps, unrestrained! Make them hurt, Gamora! Cut to pieces! They have come to defend the core! Not gonna happen! Work for that fancy pants Nova Corps on, I swear! So, let's take that sweat neck soldier out then! Let's see those brands! Careful! They're bringing out the big guns! Hurry! Let's get those clamps off so we can keep moving. I will tear them from their sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead. But this time, we've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit, so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Yes. We're aiming for big, glowing lines routing back towards the plants in the middle. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Instead of a... Root root boost thing. Neat trick. Root loves being helpful. He's always helpful. Okay. I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Hell yeah. Who's smarter than Nova Core? Did that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Now work on the other room. Well, I think you had it right the first time. Back together with Lady Law. <laughs> She's no lady. She never set her standards that low anyway. That's factually untrue. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. So any guesses on what they're doing with all that power? Perhaps they are recharging their personal devices. Their what? Their electronic tablets and assorted communication gadgetry. And do you think they would need power from the ship's core for that? Groot! Need your help, buddy! Root boost, please! Groot's right. Maybe we should just call Cosmo, tell him we tried, and port the Flark out of here. It ain't our fault Scott was locked down. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. And you will have one! Priceless lattice hex ornadian crystals lying around. I'll gladly build you one. That's another power node. Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re reinvert the core at the same time and get us moving again. Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Clamps are unclamped. Select 
Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. Now that we know the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. It must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. All right, this is our floor. Okay, this has potential. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Oh, uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quill saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these frackling gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know. Looks like it's siphoning something. Something to do with those cubes? No, no. I gotta get a closer look. Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before. Extensive dog report. Ah, Flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. There's trouble on the ship. Big, loud trouble. Give specifics. Nova Corps has gone bananas. There was a battle, but no bodies anywhere. Oh, and there's this giant freaking ray gun. Have Guardian found Centurion Corel? Not yet. Guardian must find her. May have answers we need. Centurions will be necessary here. Right now! They must be vulnerable to certain tactics! If we can somehow... 
Get some real answers. Do you have any idea where she is? I'm thinking we check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, Drax spotted it on our way in. We can use the hole Nikki and I fell into when Raker's shuttle exploded. Huh, that ain't right. Rocket, can you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. Keep in mind, she may not stay there forever. We still need a way through. If we have the Milano, I could drag one of these battery things aboard. Drax, gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. Perhaps the nearby machinery can help. Ah, I see what you were thinking, Peter Quill. We can use the crane to grab the battery. Uh, right. Just like I planned. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right. Come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained. By, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey! Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. I'm Groot. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? We were not scavenging for the same thing. Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. The kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone. The kind that should probably stay quarantined. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically.
Gamora, any chance you can help us here? I got this, Peter. One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corral and Nikki. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corral survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. What if only one is dead? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met. And Corral's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Don't get cocky, Quill. Just because you won that bet in the quarantine zone. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. What do you say, Gamora, now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. says we should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? Are you feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. Does not look taken care of to me. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I am <sighs> Of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. There, breezy peasy. Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, uh, more death gas. Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Pretty sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. Point is... I care about us, but right now we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. Are you sure this is the right way, Peter Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Take it down, Gamora. Okay, gonna slice it. <clears throat> you sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are- They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not! Dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. Instead.
Still no signs of Nicky or Corral. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Katathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Here! This is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you! We need to get into that room. I knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby-trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait Is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is twelve, and Quill was with the child's mother twelve years ago. The math is irrefutable. This doesn't prove anything. The dates match up, so what? It's not how paternity works. Uh, it kinda is. Was Corel ovulating at the time? I don't know! We thought we were gonna die! Can we just focus on if Corel and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Small marvel crafted. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Guys, can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concerned while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Ditto. Ha. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid? I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. 
Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? So much for your girlfriend meeting us. It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Did the rest of you already know that Peter Quill was the child's father? I definitely suspect it! Explain why he's so excited about this mission! Channel your newfound paternal energy! Don't mess with Earth! Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. More deadly gas! Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? He's got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking of Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. Look on the bright side. Next stop, Corel's office. Dog report item. We are lost. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. I've got just the Drax for this. It would be my pleasure. Maybe we should just ask someone for directions? Hey, I'm capable of asking for help. Help me be done with this stupid mission. There, see? Hello? Corel? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says... Mother knows best. Return, hope, promise. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corel never told you that either? 
The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corell have just told me? To protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... She was being literal. I wonder if Nikki made this. I am Groot. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Oh, wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Greek Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in, but I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Hey, Quill, you interested in seeing this or not? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Save your ammo! Hit this creep with a special surprise! 
anyone else thinking that we need a robot on our team? A robot? We can't! must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. Are you? Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. Are you? How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Yeah. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! Guys! Hey, Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. We're in! You're kidding! Well? Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is Pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. That body, buddy. You know, for a non spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Look, it's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. from the bar? 
Yep. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Cree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow. Your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. It's a list of bucket ads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So? It might have useful info or something. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. It was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. Hey, Wall. Then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive, comprehensive guide, guide to meditation, meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention away team. 
Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corral, everything by the book. Yeah. There gotta be something in here. Isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. When's the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral, found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I am Groot. No, you're a Lotus Scud. That thing's got nothing to do with us. <sighs> that gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices. I had the check. Groot, write the stars. <laughs> Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Warriors often ride into battle completely naked. 
Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me. Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch the divine vessel? I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him! What? <laughs> Come. Join me! If I intended to kill you... Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. Wanna explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sancrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this, uh, faith energy is, is, uh, really, really powerful, and, uh, um... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is... You say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you, weren't you stranded on Hallow's Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. Okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No, <laughs> no nope. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please continue your fascinating account of, you know... <laughs> Uh, you were saying something about him? It seems super important. 
Right, right, uh, your father. Uncle. Son? My son died of disease. The him I was referring to was someone else. The first divine vessel of this church, before it was even a church. An absurd faith healer, bathed in golden light and wielding unfathomable power. He saw my loss, our collective loss, knew its cause, but refused to reverse it. Because he, personally, never felt what we feel. That is why I founded this church. To heal. To give hope to those who have lost everything. <clears throat> Wait. There were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. Wait. What? I... Right? Yes. Good point, Groot. He is totally into his spiritual mission. But I think I figured out all of this. Those were some pretty sweet holograms. I, mean, I think even the world might look jealous. I mean, they must have cost you an arm and a... Well, another arm. <laughs> right? And this? That's a pretty sweet trip, too. But everybody's got anti-gram these days. Oh, and let me guess. You got your own personal shield generator tucked under that territory, don't you? <laughs> a little makeup, some color coordination. Oh, loving the gold laser light show, by the way. And a pretty sweet little scan. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Well, good for you. Hey, I get it, man. You gotta sell the brand before you stage the miracle. Oh, man, this one time on Rigel 3... You uh, think you're all very clever. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why? Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matriarch. Tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Will's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more 
than just me. What do you mean? Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens. Until I show them. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <gasps> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. Let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. It's okay. It's me. It can't be. Peter, what are you doing? I'm sorry. This isn't funny. Put that down, young man. <gasps> Get up! 
We don't have much time. <clears throat> we need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? Taking this off or hanging it up. This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today! Did you forget again? Dad? Dad? Uh, no! No, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great! So, can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then, um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think... I got all the moons. It's beautiful. So, that just leaves the cake and the present. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Don't forget the present! Hey, you still have Chewy? Yeah, he's captain of the Milano now. Really? Well, congrats, I guess. Is this your hat? You gave it to me, remember? Oh, right. I do not remember this. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others! Great! A gift! Put it on the table. One birthday present! What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh! Right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki? Why is the door locked? It's ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two? No! <clears throat> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how. But the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her.
child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! This is what did she do to us? Mark and mind games! Coming up to you! You later! Focus on Raker! Blitz of Rocket! Nomura! Run him through! Take a Seal my rock! down here. How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm set, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? Flip another religion. I see a way up. How thoughtful. Gamora, wait! It's all you, Gamora! These fanatics only understand violence! Cultists walked right into that one! Stop that weirdo's deserve it!
That's bad. That's very bad. We need an exit! There ain't one! Then make one! Drax, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Because we're about to die! Right. Hmm. I know that sweet smell anyway. Come on! We can escape through that drain! Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant! We can't just jump in there! We need to keep moving! Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death! Whoa. What the- Drax! Drax, man, uh... Everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingly! Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think they reached the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier sent Lictor drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us. We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. The matriarch didn't look pretty. She looked ridiculous and completely brainwashed. I don't care if she was tall like a tree. That's a stupid measure of beauty. Scott, what are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You do know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Hey, look. No time to stand around fighting these goons. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. You mean the faster we fight them? This is a pointless fight! Get us out of here, bro! Thanks, Coven! You trust that thing? Of course! He's one of us now! I shall break this hole! Fight through it, guys! We've got our way forward! Are we really going to throw that punk of junk? These fanatics only understand violence! Careful not to hit that drone, guys! I have no desire to destroy it! Set it free! Welcome death! We're wasting time here! Coven, ready to go! Tell that to these promise watchers! Making short work of these cultists' creeps! Stop that weirdo disturbance! There is tremendous power in this room! Was that a compliment? I'll take it. Oh, you! I sent it that way, Rax! Drop him, Gamora!
give up their room. Crap, it's a dead end. Now what? Up there! That catwalk's our way out. If we can get across that gap... Flark, we got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the Scott, man? Drax! <laughs> Was that our... Doesn't matter. We got an exit. Let's go. Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad they're my pieces. We should keep moving. <sighs> this doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this some kind of torture chamber? They look peaceful. Hey, uh, are you okay? I might as well be back on Half-World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen, and they tailed the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... I'd stand looking at it. Let's get the flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gubbin sent us this he way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually. <gasps> Let's just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, the shortcut. Gonna put a bullet in one of these markers for every oh. people battery in this place. That's a lot of bullets. I got enough. We just stayed in jail. Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. <laughs> that must be the comm relay. Hard to get off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. Well, how can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> We'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. In life. But there was something else there too. 
Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. Valkyrie. I know she's a walking sky dog. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. All right, let's split before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. I have topics we must discuss. Now's not the time for it. Peter, there's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right. you covered. I've made it foolproof, just for you. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Ugh. We need to get through here, but the stupid Faith Tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Maybe I can just zap it? Runs on Faith. Unless your guns can squeeze out some Faith juice. Got a lazy death bot here. His battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up. Looks like it worked. Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hello? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. That is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. <laughs> we have to go this way. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my... Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? Block. Whatever that is, it's really close. This is Flark. There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. Then we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. Our church comes for us! Mark! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Take these off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! We get the shield back up! They just knock it down again! Root, snag up! I was just trying to wake him up! Having fun praying on the week? Get ready! Time 
give him a new one! Breaker's congregation just lost a member! Or we'd want to bring back a prisoner for questioning. Okay, let's see what we can do with this scut. Come on. Come on! You sure you can- Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was- Whoa! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the field. Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! They're trying to trap us here! Just watch your back, bud! They got home ship advantage!
Prepare yourself! Why do they fight us? Because they're a loony space cult? Gamora! Gladly! Out! That's gotta hurt! Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? Things built tough! We need to really pile it on! Pin him down, Groot! Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship, and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello? Whiskers? Life will now burn you! Raise the flag, bro! Put down another fanatic! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Drag so close! Never see it coming! Go freeze lightning! Rocket! Do your thing!
Wait, I think I know where we are. We are on Sacrosite. Yeah, real sharp observation there, man. But soon we're gonna be off Sacrosuck. I am broke. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Flark! How's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! I hate everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got little legs! Lift your feet, Peter Quill! Jump! What? Jump! We need to keep moving forward, Quill! Good? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meet her is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect her. Yeah, I've got to run in silence. But who knows what kind of sense the rain has on this thing. These deluded souls do not know when to quit! And the matriarch could not save this one. Make your peace. Rock it, you them. Broke another cultist. Stop that weirdo's disturbing. I'll be here all week. Running the whole army, we've got to cut them off. We're gonna die here. I, I got an idea. Maybe I can overload these batteries. Make this part of the ship go boom. How big of a boom are we talking about? Can't wait to find out. Keep them busy while I rig this place. Here come the creeps. I need time, Quill. Keeping the flark off my tail. Throw that, Drax. Drax, destroy. I will end you. Battle must end! Try to end it in the Big Bang! <laughs> I am really missing Gamora right now! I'm telling you, he just ain't a team player. Says the guy who just rejoined the team after ditching us. Why not just fail to crack the teleterrorists? Hang in there, bud! Well, do something! Move it at him, big guy! Slain a believer! Rocket! Should we be shooting this close to these things? Good question! In theory, we probably won't blow up! This 
Must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! I am Groot! Harsh! 
Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo, flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Watch it, Peter. You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. Hey, hey. Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. I, well, am I am the, the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am... Yeah, maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am good. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar. 
and ask world mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxy must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am brute. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends her regards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Ha! Quill just 
just drive the kill splane to the deadliest woman in the galaxy! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Ooh! Right up the exhaust port! Take better care of the Milano. Yeah, we were a ship wash in the wax when this is all over. Right after you packed up all the holes. I am Clarice, warrior of. <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already <laughs> know? <laughs> Maybe not, not everything. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes. Nope. Connected to banking services. Connected. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine. No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all, all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I am Groot. It can be stopped. Maybe not by us. But you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The, the Resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And, and not before the Shatari had destroyed our home world and decimated our people. Yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should've run when we had the chance. 
We have already processed 12,472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. That is a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause! Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source, source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot, cannot be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It, it is not, not magical. magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. We recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state is not our primary concern. We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Alan Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> ah, screw it. If Novacore doesn't want to help, then we're not paying their darn fine. Cancel payment. I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
Chomp, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flocking water. And if they find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. More up. You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? Me Rocky. I don't call you Groody. God, feels like I've been awake for a whole cycle. Hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? 
I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. Say, bud, how do you stay so level-headed? I am Groot. I mean, every time Scud happens and we're down in the ditch, you never seem to lose your morale. I am Groot. Wow. Wish I could understand that. You have it all figured out, don't you? Mm, I am Groot. Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. Really? How did you? Ugh. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> That's how you got in? Ugh, screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad uh, guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go. <laughs> Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice!
Run the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Drax! Anybody? We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! It's supposed to be a hero. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? What are you doing? Heroes don't fight. None of this makes any sense! No! This is all wrong! We can't keep running away from our problems. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! We were supposed to be a hero. Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! Don't take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill! Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right, uh, right. Because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, 
I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Can he then? If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet. Done. Meet me in the rec room. What are we flocking waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. I am Groot. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I know you're ready. I am Groot. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, the stuff is gross! Ah. Uh. Kidding me. Ah, but first the worst. Rocket, you all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys. This is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great! They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles Pacifists, from... that's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean? Only part of an ocean. Don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting. <gasps> Found Drax. Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy! 
Hey, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend for the lost! Rock in a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys! How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omvad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on, the creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is in unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad, but no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. Double floor! Yeah. I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, so it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Classy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. 
Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Crap! That was kinda close. That one sometimes gets the mora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Yeah. Look at all the times Drax has done something for us. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who, oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Are you worried about this fog? around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. <laughs> oh, no, Sir Groove. There's no such thing as the Kotadi route. What kind of stories do the priests tell? Legends of lingering souls trapped in stone. Can't you feel the residual hum? I feel like we're being watched. I should give this to Drax when he's... himself again. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! Going, Quill. Just following my gut on something. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this flackened cave of Clark and Wonders. What's going on, Sir Groot? What the fuck? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking. <gasps> you... What do you think? Last friends? Yeah, maybe not. I should know these ones. Ubu. Oh, Wait! 
It barely scratches these things! Ain't nothing bombs don't solve! sick of this stupid cave! I am Groot. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks, and, uh... Crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good, too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. Looks like there's something on the other side. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> oh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. another way just me or them crystals look super dangerous don't worry your fuzzy little head you only die from a great fall in two timelines this probably isn't one of them we need to get on those crystals group just let quill get out there first i don't want you falling Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time 
in space. Mantis, back in nowhere. Did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. You can have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes! But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies! I think... It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, no. Do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're about to do. Just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, mm -hmm. can you tell him to stop? Rocket, don't! Rocket! You guys haven't seen this a lot? You want to know the plan? Yep! Maybe run! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. The one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Are you Spartan? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How do a gun do that? And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Bag me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never oh. see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Quill, watch it! Feel free to ask him! Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? Yeah. Only good Shatari is a dead one! Ever say how much I hated working with these snakes? Danger close, Rocket! 
shit! One last freaky eye thing! Hey! Got one! Don't speak with our luck! Hellbender's goons are on the other side, just waiting to drop us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Ha! Hold it! Can you save your I told you so's for when we're not being shot at? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them! Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things! You were saying? Just had to jinx us, didn't you? Hey! Anyone notice if this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? Smash it, Zamora! Did anyone teach them to avoid sharp edges? Watch it! Spike! The big gun couldn't save you, hell dork! Focus, Rocket! That's probably not the last Hellraiser we'll face! Rocket! Blast him! Keep the breathing room, Groot! Noble weirdos too! Ah, that would be worse! Oh, come on! Mantis says the cure for the problem is here! Makes sense for the church to not want anyone to find it! We went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you though, right? Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! I don't think you're looking to make a man squirrel. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language.
That went about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where little fuzzy does something heroic? I don't know. I think it's pretty easy to make the fault. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Everything here is strange. Strange plants, strange fog, strange company. Probably the weird fogs affecting the plants. Oh no, I feel it too. It's something else. Something powerful. This looks like something Gamora could use. If we do cure Drax, we should make up a story about how we battled some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. Just gonna uh, assume you got your timelines crossed again. Um, guys... I know, little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like... Medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even throw down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where are the almighty Star-Lord. Got no. Who's Who's I could try blowing it up, I guess. No. Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about the death. Yes! Can't believe that worked. Half worked. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Hey Groot, can you get me up there? Just tell him how high. Bad, you 
don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, meh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. Easy, Green. He'll figure it out. Let my rocket go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. Does this crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Stargast right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. With the soul? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Let me guess. Further down... Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. Okay. One last time! I don't remember this part. 
Okay. Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Oh. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on the oh. roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Hit him down, Groot! Okay, so let's blow this thing to hell! I don't know how much longer I can hold this off, Peter! 
see a lively tracks again. I'm about to make him dead, please. I mean, you know what I mean. us. Hey, the friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matrix's life getting bolder and green me his mind! Your kid's getting stronger! Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. The 
his followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <clears throat> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. There's the big galoot. 
That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging <laughs> until he accepts what's been. You're not the only one that hears that, right? Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> we got a runner. After a spotlight. I don't know this part. Tracks. <laughs> Oh, please be something soft down there! <laughs> <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. After all, something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand. You fight a phantom. We're given four. It is a. I can't. Peter? Whoa. Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why I couldn't see! Oh. <sighs> hey, we ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. We are trespassers on tainted land. <laughs> Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. Are you so keen to usurp your father? You're scared to race me. Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you. Little you play Pong on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see me? Your friend me? is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you... There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here, it is time to come home. What the flark is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. The fuck are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Just keep doing it! Slash him, Gamora! 
I have purchase! Prepare to be pulled within! Hold on to your tails! Don't you dare! My cleaning wood gets out of my car! Everyone all right? Define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that... Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, Will. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. We gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. charade. see any new promise at least we are an empty eternal echo naked nothingness not helping hobo wizard all right everyone just split up and look for a way out or forward or whatever i lose a bet if i die in a dark pit it was alone in a dark pit mantis a little help here ow rocket i tried pinching myself there look i can't believe that worked let's go Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? 
I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were were. They were. Peter Quill. My family is gone. Well, what sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Your quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. 
And anyone want to tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? Mortensen, why that thing looked like him? Because it is me. that bombshell time is tight and your understanding unimportant can i shoot him come on let me shoot him hey we're in this together and smart money says it's gonna be a tough fight imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness uh, speaking of dark such was my celestial solitude power without purpose until uncovered by raker his crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happened upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, Dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps. Pernicious priesting. Feeble fools. Fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Perel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick. As I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? 
So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the Severin. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? <laughs> what What's are you doing? Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey! That nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. 
Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before, blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer, but your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul, and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it! I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and... and... Uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, Warlock. He's something. So, how is he? 
frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Hurry up, Quill. I ain't got all day. Did you reach Cosmo? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. Explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of the divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Rally's regiments while we wait whistling in the wings landing as fast as I can go what the flark Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now he is a man of action Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Peter. Okay. Let's be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? 
the realization of the Matriarch's promise, the beginning of a new world, one without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere oh, really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hallis Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. <sighs> I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Hey! Check it out! We got bad guys! Light them up, Rocket! Get ready to die! They do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt them first! Play him down! Don't think your boss is gonna be too happy with you! They're stuck in Riker's lives! More batteries the deeper we go. 100 units says they're tied to the fulfillment. Priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I don't suppose we can try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. Hey! Oh! Peter! Oh. 
Well, that didn't work. I'm going in. What about the fanatics? There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Peter, let's go! I had a contact here. Rotations about Did? Was it Blurk? No, no, no. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splatted somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. And what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got Sweet a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The collector probably blasted it. Thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Yeah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like you did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Riku wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we should reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? She's not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Via Magnati!
Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church. No, of course not. Just just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister, if I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa, what? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nutjob cult leader. Yes. Get the point! Put 
Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. They're too wide to cross. Drax, I have been eager to topple something over. We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. You know? All right, get ahead. Let's book <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kind of hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. You die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Just follow my lead. 
Hey, Quill! Want to see some fireworks? Look! Golden Boy and Uni Parker are still at it! Come on, the dog stuff was just top! I ain't saying I want to lose, but I wouldn't mind a break or soft one. We're sitting ducks! You're wrong on both counts! This he means we can't stay here! On this, we are agreed! I'm ready! Just find me an opening! What is next, Peter Quill? Crap! Now it's any ideas! I have seen a sign! Being shot at ain't enough of a sign? I am referring to the billboard! Perhaps it can be cut loose! Bust it open the no- Gamora! The billboard! Good call! You find more snipers over there! You saved me one! No boxes! Drop them, Gamora! We approach the dog's tower! We still have to fight our way through! Okay! We gotta get to that elevator! We're gonna have to use the rooftops! Rocket! Do your thing! A rapture is no telltale of our battles here! Oh man! Back on Earth, there was this great song! These These are the games are relentless! Clock. Way to knock some sense into them! Just once I'd like to cross this bridge without incident! You can thank Goldie for that! The warlock saved us from sudden death! Uh, I ain't scared of Raker and his little white dog! My great strength goes underutilized with fervor! This has got my name on it! Golden Boy's help? Is that why you shot him? <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. Right in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Finally, I think they're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. Ba -ba -ba boom baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream.
Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on him. Oh, you gotta be flarking kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! We're a lot better not to do the Whoa! Glad that wasn't Rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We don't have to worry about that because we will stop it. More specifically, I'm gonna make Raker eat my element guns. Perhaps shooting him would yield better results. And then we're gonna bring my daughter home and that's... That's what worries you. One problem at a time. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise, too. That endless hunger. Oh, yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! Get away from my dog! Rocket! Go wild! Raker's propagation is a tremendous! You have been broken! You just got destroyed by the destroyer! Oh, make them hurt, Gamora! Guys, what do we do about this big bot? The contraption cannot Gamora, predict our merciless it. unity! Drag so claw! Take the breathing room, group! Grab it claw, group! Gladly! Oh, wow! Remind me of the piss off Groot! Nobody kick oh, off your back! This one just eats ammo! Put him up! I will end you! doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's 
too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt! No! <sighs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? Is Piotr Quinn? Cosmos never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmos smell? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky in cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walk his for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadia not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never! But you have! There's somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now! <sighs> Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right! Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell! They are wicked perversions, you must bite them with all your might! <laughs> Be gone! Cosmo not fiction That's it, buddy, you tell him! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect the dog cause! Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. 
I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlos, before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. Ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was... Eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. Wish to poison its food supply. Eh, we're the food supply, so... No. We'll kill it the old-fashioned way. Yuck. I am so done with brains in the Universal Church of Crap. The way the church spreads their faith to me. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is owing for you. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church dudes between us and the Cortex. Coming? Clear. Oh. Cosmo is retaking power of security, where his cops are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pops too. security detail. It's gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Really love Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Drax, little help, Pivo. Readily. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. Why do the mightiest powers of the universe not intervene against the Church? Galactus, the Stranger, the Living Tribunal. They didn't show up for the Galactic War either. We won it without them. Your mistake is thinking they give a single flark about the rest of us. Drax, over here! Hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <sighs> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so felt gray lung. What? Did you guys know? Oh yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. Think you can anchor to this, Gamora? Guess we'll find out. <sighs> I'm surprised Thanos never tried to take Noah's resources during the war. Don't ever underestimate the Collector's political power. What do you see? Um, same stuff, but higher. You. What's in all those towers and pods? There ain't no zone in here, so it could be any. <gasps> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere looks like this soon. 
It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. It used to. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Hey, Groot. Think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems impertinent to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? This place smells weird. It's the brains. It goes sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and... I don't know, something else. Real. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Cantathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. All right, I've made it foolproof, just for you. Tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. For all we know, that thing's about to blow. I've been thinking. Yeah, the, the nobodies look out for themselves, but... Oh, what have they done to you? You, uh... Okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. Hmm. Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Perhaps there is a way to steer nowhere directly into the rift. Can't risk it if Nikki's here. You want to erase the best place in the galaxy? Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I saw no wheel. Yeah, th there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with jerk scum. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? After kicking Raker's butt, I wouldn't be surprised if Warlock finds us. That still leaves Mantis. We'll have the Cortex by then. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump back to Lamentis. Assuming there still is a Lamentis. Careful, he gets a little. Whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. 
Watch this. Surprise, Scumbaggers! All you Roger! Turn down this church, wizard! <laughs> that was awesome! Go one of the white gun space cops! <laughs> Back to a battle plane! Final stretch, people! Everything you've got! About blocking time! Feels like we're up against the entire army! Looks like we're crashing through the green planet! Flyboy flies away whenever I get close to hitting him! I also require oh, the yeah. landing of this Take renegade! Back, Nova, Scott. Let's see those branches! This is bringing back war memories! Let us show them how wars are fought! Help, Rex! Don't forget, we're a team! Coordinate! Give me a target and I'll cut it down! Must have missed the defense against Gamora class. Wizard, we stand before your temple gates. Come out and die. So glad that man is on our side right now. Really, Grandpa? Yeah. Uh, uh. Creeps are coming from everywhere. They ain't getting the drop on me. Is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Whatever they're up to with the Cortex, it stops now. This is nowhere. Our nowhere. Destin right. Let's show these Flartnards the door. I'll show them my blade. It will be a glorious battle. We are with you, Peter Quill. Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. My place should be able to slice into them! Wipe them out, Rocket! Is All this faith energy is tingling on my inside! Tingling? That did something! Look at the hand! Alright! One down, three to go! That's right! Feel it! And then help us stop your ritual from 
Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. Promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill him.
Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dastin Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. You're not getting away this time. Power down, power down. How the flark are we supposed to fight that? Yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have. Oh, come on. I don't think they're with the world mind anymore. Cops flying next to pirates, merchant vessels, military. Anybody you would have fought back's already here. Playing for the wrong team. Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Rocket, anything? What about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am Groot. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <coughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just... Not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter Quinn, th this beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. 
They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the Paramas, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the Gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. Groot ain't going back in a cage. No, no but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach Lufour! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Sell quill parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That definitely shouldn't be sparking! We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Listen closely. 
Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So traju tuklu, Heldador Morgath, Soltas Flandergath. Really? We're doing this? Targath Gonot Kol, Vol Malki Ultath, Gothan Kol Galmak. Targath Gonot Kol, Vol Malki Ultath. Goth and Kogal Mak. Galmach, Solta Flander Gath. What does that last line mean, Drax? Solta Flander Gath. It means we will be victorious. The Milano isn't going to self destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I got to tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self destruct systems. All good, buddy? Hi, Brute. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. Bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. But I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay. Well, I ain't seeing no Foom folk. You should look for Katathian Hunt. Oh, that was too close. <laughs> The legends of raining fire are true! Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! <sighs> Watch out! This place is falling apart! <laughs> we did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mark IV. So many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom! Great! Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to catch. Bye-bye, Galaxy. You have nothing to fear. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. I am Groot. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead. Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foom? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle, a truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah! Part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. 
I mean walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy. Makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chap. If we all die, we will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is going to be than the thing we just lost? 10,000. That's what I think. No one said this was going to be easy, Rocket. Right, right. But 10,000 times will Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Boom's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stomp around down there. Legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maku's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa. Get a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Foom's, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah. Uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Step one of a multi-step solution to get across. Incoming! So step two of your plan is crushing us all? I think I see what he's up to. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks... <laughs> Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom... Then we'd probably be dead. We so weren't ready before. I was born ready. Everyone get ready! There's something up ahead! I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great. More foam food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. I know I don't say this enough, but I really appreciate you guys! Okay, 
Let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started in the ritual? Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. But smart ones do. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Oh, it's Lady Hellbender legends all over again. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these dance games? Knock him out. I want full credit for the kill. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon who created the entire galaxy. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me, no. You got this, Drax. Let us see you do this, rodent! Instead of giving her home, any chance Lady H might settle for Let's make it fall. Without issue. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Guys, there's so much at stake right now. I mean, if we don't get Lady Hellbender on our side, if we don't find a way to take down Raker and his flarked up church... We know Peter! Whoa! Whoa! This place is crumbling all around us! Legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Foom. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links. Make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion, or maybe even surrender. And we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No, I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. 
And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. So draju to kluk, elda kol magath, solta. Foom! It's foom! Yes! Or going to go in a huge flarkin' rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Root says to put on your sliding pants. Looks like the only way down. Here goes! I don't like this! Ah! Oh, 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 kind of amazing. Also really terrifying. Hello? We're looking for Fin Fang Foom. You seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? That's gonna hit us! There ain't no way through! Trust me! <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Felt that one, too. And that one. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. What is that? Come on, Rocket, we got past your fear of water. That ain't water. <clears throat> how did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yeah. Up we go, Groot. Here's good. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Wendigo! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star-Lord! See? <laughs> Star-Lord! Just me, or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. 
Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Fruit says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Those things grow in a frozen hellscape. I think they're made of sturdier stuff than that. Golden Boy is getting tortured right now. More likely Warlock is torturing the Breaker. The Golden One is formidable. I think she meant with his mouth, Drax. That is not an effective means of torture. Senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. But we are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. When to go? Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. shots of them and it's so much fun but if we lose our focus if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down we're done who's with me victory is ours can't wait to take him down let me in ah a good fight forms the blood or you could try a sweater <laughs> Slash, throw that, Drax! Looks like they've evolved to survive these conditions. Well, I hope they like dying in them. Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. 
Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. So much for not holding a grudge. Revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Brute knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a fun house of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. Wendigo. Whatever it is, it smells. Bodies. It 
it smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. You've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. And it's done! Here's... Hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Ha ha ha! 
takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Boom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. So, what was up with old Bubblehead? Seemed like an augment to me. Some sort of amorphous biochemical appendage. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these, I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, uh Fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! Oh, Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. My blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foom. You face your final moments. Not final. Capture? Alive? That is what I meant. His final moment. We spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Opinion does not appear to have improved. 
Uma's fallen. We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Heard the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. Are we are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? 
<laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I am Groot. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the Elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you're able to hide them in the caves? Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I'm great. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> the, the what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier? <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity. I am Groot. <laughs> 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 hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Peter Quill, spar with me. 
<laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's gonna happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Bet those moves are really gonna impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him. Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. All right, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. fleet looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels, while the church is out looking for the source. We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those movies. Our deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that?
Gorgon's breath. Whoa! Yes! Lady Hellbender has arrived! Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady's murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base her way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Boom! She's fighting with us, not against us! I long for battle, Peter Quill! Get us inside! Took the words right out of my mouth! Taking fire! Crap, that's a lot of turrets! Got a piece of that guy! I think you're finally figuring out how to fly her, Quill! True! I do not feel the dread in my stomach his piloting ordinarily elicits. And we're in! Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches! Any sign of Warlock? Yes! My tracker's going both by the center of rock formation. Let's get out of this game! Tell them that! Stop the short group! Zap! Do your thing, Drax! Make your maker!
our enemies' faces as Fin Fang Fu swoops in to devour them. How can we be certain they have not found a way to convert the Warlock? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. If they found a way to turn him, we'll just have to go into his mind and fix him too. I ain't jumping into that freak's promise. Can you imagine? Mirrors as far as the eye can see. Jars full of combs and cheap hair products. You use hair products. I said cheap. A wealth of luxurious oils and sweeteners. <laughs> Just no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! We'll meet you people soon! I'm already here, Mantis! Oh! Say hi for me! Celestial Madonna sends her greetings. I kinda wanna know how they made so many uniforms in such a short time! Here. They have fully embraced the promise. And there's millions more where they came from. Doors floor. We need to go that way. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry, we left such a mess the last time we were here. No, we ain't. He's off his game. Let's knock him down. Let us deal the final blow. Face me. Imagine the havoc Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside. Probably destroyed half the armada by now, Drax! Using only her bare hands! Cut to the chase! At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano! She's actually an accomplished pilot!
Bits. Signal's coming from somewhere inside that giant freaking rock. Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters. Enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Okay, we got this. Uh, test your metal. Drop that spacey space cop! Think we could have started out here? We can't count on there being gravity for long. We're good, but my trigger finger has gotten up from all the murdering. Oh man, look at those turrets! A church has ample firepower! Reach the shield! Throw that, Drax! Rock it! Go wild! I can't fix straight with that Nova Corps idiot tossing all these mines around! Let's take him out first! Destroy! Drax, destroy! Man, the entire galaxy showed up for this brawl! That is certainly an exaggeration. If it weren't for that fancy pants Nova Corps armor, I swear! I agree! The electric-wielding corpsman must perish next! Point you up! Hi! Think we could have started out here? Maybe! Easy picking for the scout ship, though! That's what you get, squat hoppers! <laughs> Rocket! Do you just make up those words or do they mean something? They mean I'm sick of getting shot at. Shuck it! Guffle stompers! Not bad. Rocket, can you pop the lock on that door? Yeah, yeah. Just let me do it. Ah, oh, well, that didn't work. That uh, panel's blocked. But I got a better idea. Hang on. Excellent work, little fuzzy. You don't get to call me then. <laughs> Heads up! We've got We have likely half of the galaxy's population. Should have been one heck of a mess to sort out after. Are we sure they can't turn off the gravity no. out here? No! Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. All right. Let's keep moving. Thanks. Whoa! Monster down! Whoa, stuck. Guess that one's off to Monster Valhalla. It was a noble death. Mantis, how's it going up there? So many dead. It's 
forward. Peter Quill, I fear I will not be able to harm your child if she is lost. Of course you wouldn't let him, you big lug, but what if she don't give us a choice? Not to be insensitive or nothing, but there's something very, very wrong with that kid. One thing at a time. None of that even matters if we don't get the Warlock. I'm just saying. I hear you. We can wait. Thanks, bud. Bets on what's down there? No. Better than being exposed up here. Guys, it's not too late to surrender. Watch them. Drop your glasses and we're called even, okay? Put their lights out. News flash. Sucks in here too. The place of their defeat makes no difference. Careful around the boosted ones! The flying one empowers them with faith! The blockhead's heading up his buddy! Blitz some rocket! Our ribs are just like a part piece by piece of the fight and fire! We all will! Get on the fire! He's healing his team! Oh! That one has gone berserk! We don't want to be in the way of that! Welcome, death! Do your thing, Gamora! And another crazy cult is dealt with! Gamora's commandment number one! Reckless tracks! We're in this now! What the? Coach is choosing his team members! Then put him in a body oh. bag! Problem? Solution! You know he's chasing you, right? With all the face beams pointing the way, he must be ready for anything! Look, they surrendered. We made a compelling argument. And we beat them mercilessly. Half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall. That would be very, very bad. Maybe we should keep moving? I would like to leave this enclosure. I cannot see the battle. You mean you might miss a peek at Lady Hellbender? Uh, and Fin Fang Foom. Do you think Foom holds a grudge? We bested him, in his own lair. He will forever recognize us as his superiors. Yeah, well, he's Lady Hellbender's pet now, and she does hold the grudge. That is true. Okay, here we go. that, not just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. Against our better judgment? That's because you focus, Peter Quill. Oh, 
Rocky, tell me we're almost through this. Uh, we're further than we were the last time you asked. Clark! Don't blame me, I'm just the guy with the tractor. <laughs> Perhaps we can help the real nerd No need to show off, big guy. I think she already has a crush on you. Get down here! Let me shoot you! Trash! Is this a dead end? There is no passing! You will make one! Gamora, slice him up! Music back, Will. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. Laura, could you, uh. I got this. Back into a hole. Great. Strike holes. Uh, giant robot. I hate these things. Not even sure it is. What does that mean? Running on faith energy, right? That comes from people. It's all you, Gamora! Just glad we got a voice between you and the world crew! We need you! Feels like I've been shooting that big boss for hours! We need to focus on taking it down! Ow! That's gonna hurt! With fervor! Fireworks! You're glad we got a monster queen watching out for us. 
Is she not wonderful? You'll struggle in vain! Can't even scratch that thing! The contraption cannot predict our merciless unity! You really think those things have people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again for each warlock. Leave this to me! We survived this. We should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Nope. Peter Quill. Yeah? Are you kidding? She's awesome. Mean, but awesome. <laughs> Groot's a no. So that's three no's and two wrong answers. The no's win. A fair vote. I will concede. Now that was unexpected. Fortune favors us. We were not sucked into the lethal void. Unless Raker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah, as long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we will see Ultaf. The correction. I will see Ultaf. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you will leave. But I will ask if there is room to get by. This is it. We're almost there. Is that you in there? Da. Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing nowhere. Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privit, my pals. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone. Until he is biting on your ass. Burp. He's such a good boy. Nerd. Cosmo is best of boys. Burp. Burp. Now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams. This is sweet. And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. We should keep moving. We are moving. Well, we should be doing it faster. <laughs> Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe to toe with the Grand Unifier again. We'll stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. Wait, what's that? Don't pull off the edge! Don't pull off the edge! I know! 
Acknowledge my velocity! Woo! <laughs> that happened! Yes, it did! Whoa, the tracker's signal is way stronger in here. We're getting close. Something tells me Raker's cronies won't make this easy. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring him to us and we'll let you go. Can't tell if they feel pain, but I know when they feel dead. Please, but not it's only under... Ah! Guys, I'm gonna need somebody to recover the butt tracker from Warlock. Absolutely not. with them as well. It won't work. Just put them down. What is next, Peter Quill? Let's keep pushing. The signal's pinging from deeper in the mines. Sprung up from a bunch of miners. Wish they'd stuck to digging. Call me Storm Lord! Drag, cross it! Another promise destroyed! Don't be sad! Keep punking their scudding lights out! Somebody's still digging down here! I'm betting they use these precious metals for the faith pack. The Grand Unifier's golden pajamas don't come cheap. <laughs> My knuckles failed to crack this metallic carapace! We had a way to take some of this ore with us. Ain't nobody trading that scut once the church is gone. Too risky! Smoke the rocket! Gamora! Well done, you two! A tactfully executed maneuver! Guys, what do we do about this big bot? You don't stand a chance! Get ready! He's recompiling! Let's put a bug in his code! Danger close, Rocket! Crash! Kick their butt! Prepare yourself, Steve! About time! Laws of acquirement in open space. If you're attacked unprovoked, you have the right to claim the battle sword. We have definitely provoked them. They provoked us first. Lots of times. Man, that giant robot can take a lot of pain! Rocket! Safety's off! Put them off, tracks! You got it! Ah! The mechanical beast is running out of limbs! I will enjoy this! Slice and dice! Can't even scratch that thing! Great idea, bud. If we pull this off, we should come back here and fill up our cargo hold. Sell the ore on the black market? Payment for a job well done? Seems fair to me. Well, we ain't making that jump. Peter's got this. He does? The Quill possesses the magical weapons. <laughs> we 
Your safety inspector. Present your documents and we will judge their accuracy. Greg, you gotta do it fast. Like so. Safety inspector! Blam! You failed! Blam! You have failed your safety inspection. They're dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. Rocket, you sure Warlock is in here somewhere? Unless he ditched the tracker, yeah. This old workbench is kind of crusty. All right, Rocket, let's prep for the big game. Let's do it smart. This may be the last chance we get. Done in record time. Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. Okay, I think I'm ready to end this. You and me both. What the? Hey look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've gotta be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Let's push through this, people. Don't want to keep the Golden God waiting. Shouldn't he be in here? If these guys are all prison guards, Breaker must be very scared of him. Love it, Adam, big guy. No fair. He's boosting everyone but us. Just be like the Cortex, right? Yeah, just gotta get access to him first. Heads up! So are you in if he truly lies beyond that magical barrier, we must focus our attention there. Hang in there, Rocket! They have seized the rodents! Do not let them convert him! Let's unplug them one by one! My boy's a goner! Denting this thing! Everybody get in here! Well, we gotta unplug these Dastin things! Working on it! Work fa- There, the warlock! Hang on, I'm calling us a ride down to Gold Cheeks. Make sure you grab on good. The drone, not the cheeks. <laughs> And unifier. Scott, everyone down. Finally come to confront the captive, castigate him for how far he's fallen. Shut your mouth for once. God, clear shot. Don't. We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up on the very eve of our ascension. To what? Take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our god was dead, and with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that- You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You're nothing but a husk, a faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker!
Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess. Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. A pleasant dream. Magus camped out in your head for way longer than Nikki, and you seem... I am good. Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! Rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes! 
You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Oh, come on, Nikki. None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh, no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No, I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Okay, Nick, what if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others! Great! The gift! Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Laura? Guess that answers my question. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago? Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm not a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be.
I know. Where's Mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... Just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. She'll... Please listen to me on this, Nikki. Can we talk about this after Mom's birthday? Your mom's not coming. None of this is real. Quit kidding around. She'll be here any minute. No, kiddo. She won't. Stop trying to ruin it. Destroy the false promise. wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! I can fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know I'll call him when I see one. This isn't about you. You're right. I'm not going to pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like... empty... and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one like your mom. She really, really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true, if I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. Reject the lie, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults. It's not the galaxy eating type. 
it doesn't matter what I think because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. There's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea is that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. Thinking back to the elevator, she was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned. Hey. Whatever happens, you're not alone, okay? There is something I do have to do alone. Focus on Raker's fan club. Load up, Rocket! Blow him up! If Magus is unleashed, the galaxy will perish! Send it Gotta get through these cultists first! You Stop hiding behind the well. Raker! Me and Kuro will cut these weirdos down! The war can't get me up his body! We must eliminate their medicinal conduit! Drop them, Kamora! Don't make them kill you! That one's grounded! He oh, is also crash. dead! Perish! Ruth, contact! Has anyone heard from magic? Ah, this has been weirdly quiet! Not enough!
tracks!
Behold before you your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door mass is await. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in. Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. <laughs> there you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> Ew, gross. Uh, I, uh, Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. Remember anything about what happened here? Galactic scale party. No expenses spared. Pretty tacky, though. And way too loud. Wait, is that Drax the... It is simply Drax. And that... Why, Halla, that's Gamora! Celebrity guests, you missed a legendary performance. What? Wild beast. <laughs> what foul fluid! Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. I am Groot. What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. I am no. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. 
Oh. <sighs> Please proceed. Ah, you go ahead. No need. I insist. No, I insist. Please proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. Which is why you should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. The limit, I guess. Clearly, it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. Whoa! I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh. Shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. We do not own the first aid kit. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. You probably just need some ginger ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Come on! I am eternal! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is even... Whoa! Mark! <laughs> Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny. And we're all gonna die. My final form, the new norm. The stone. But that thing attacked my mom and me. It was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes, the ancient stone. One of the six. It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus. Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly. Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. By doing what you do best, Guardians. <laughs> No, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating people. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> Do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee everything than me? All for the very small fee of your souls. You're in my reality now.
<laughs> bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? For mocking you, idiot. What? Ah! I said kneel! Are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yeah. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! Everyone to Nikki! Now! Yo, everyone, stay close! How the floor can be! How did you? No idea! I just can't! Now! So far, so good, Guardian! But you're not out of the woods yet! Flies in the ointment of time! Careful! We have incoming bugs! Crush! something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats, gnawing on nothing, because nothing is which I have not begat. Cat, bat, muskrat, man. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously, how is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splatty, splat, splat. Laundromat. You begin to annoy me. It's what we do! Combat, format, diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates. Okay, pretty sure we derailed them. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Now, Star Guy! It has to be now! Time to get it through your oversized skull! We don't give in to anyone! I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! We have business cards! And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! Your mockery mocks my very... Gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like, over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis, the chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. 
that perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. Do you know, the second you feel any indigestion... I shall call upon your crew, motley though you may be. I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for... All the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, none other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom. And maybe a bathroom, and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide... parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably gonna be just, uh... You can't look after a kid. You are a kid. You should arguably have somebody looking after you. Oh, crap. I mean, Nikki's great and all, but she's still gonna need guidance and emotional support and... Oh, vegetables. Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask them. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They are not fit to be around children! Drax is a convicted mass murderer. Rocket is volatile and mean. On a good day, Gamora's only parental model is Thanos and Groot. Groot can only say three words! And we could not be a more unfit group of people. But that's okay to admit, right? So you're a little scared, <laughs> terrified even. But that just means you care. Mummy. Uh, what's happening? We appear to have lost power. Sounds like a Nova Corps disabler. Uh, you guys paid your fine, right? Oh, fuck! Uh, I am 